Okay guys, welcome back. So this video is a really important video. Um, you really need to watch this video and pay attention. Um, this is going to show you a product that is going to give vaping a very bad name. Um, this product is going to hurt people. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it does hurt people. Um, it's going to eventually cause a battery to vent or the device to um, self implode or something I don't know it's gonna get hot and it's gonna hurt somebody this is the H cigar mini DNA 35 it comes in this nice travel case which is very nice very high quality case um, as far as the product goes, it's kind of like a uh, first generation Vapor Shark uh, look alike. Um, you know, they do have their own designs and stuff on it. Um, it is a very nice looking device, and I really wish that this one would have worked out. Um, I had purchased two of these devices, one to review and keep because I saw this device being really well and the other one I was going to um, give away to you guys or or throw it in the 500 subscribers pile or whatever, right? I can't do that now because this product is going to hurt somebody very badly. We're going to go to the up and close. I'm going to show you exactly what I think happened with this device. Um, it blew a... Um, a uh, power cap uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a power capacitor um, vent before but um, it's not very nice it does a lot of venting and a lot of flaming um, and it does get very hot that is what happened in this device right here um, go to the up and close there's a couple different uh, couple different um, suspicions that I may have uh, with this device but yeah so stay tuned after the up and close for the uh, closing words uh, in FaceTime and uh, please pay attention to that uh, because we need to make people aware of this product. Um, it is just, I do believe it is just recently released from H Cigar. Um, this will most likely be the first review on it um, on YouTube anyways. Um, so. Here we go guys, let's go into the up and close and uh, we'll have a look at what went wrong with this product. Alright guys, so here we have it. This is our H Cigar DNA 35 uh, mini, um, mini uh, box mod. So this is how it comes. It comes in this nice pleather um, carrying case, nice fishnet kind of pouch here an extra strap for strapping in whatever you can fit in there this is how your device comes um, it does actually come with a plastic wrapper on this and your USB cable nice carabiner on the package as well nice uh, pull tab on the zipper as well makes it handy for unzipping the package <clears throat> so this is the device that only works uh, via USB uh, I wish I could review it for you guys but uh, the thing doesn't work so there's that now let's get to what I want to get to right away this is the device that caught fire um, let's see if I can get up close with this one right here focus alright there we go so you can see that the fire button is kind of recessed in there so you can see that the fire button so you can see that the fire button is recessed in this device right now um, if I could get the camera to focus there we go you can see right here that the um, hot glue has separated from the outside of the case which is now causing this uh, board here that the button sits on to actually hit the 510 connection and uh, has actually separated the 510 connection um, and its hot glue from the case as well can see that the 510 connection is actually it's not pressed into this case it's actually only held in there with hot glue 
So I mean after extensive use, especially with uh, an atomizer being on here and getting hot, this glue is going to soften and uh, your 510 connection is going to become loose and it's going to want to touch everything in there. Um, now where this device caught fire is uh, down in that region right there. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this very well maybe if I can change the focus on the camera here if it will allow me to and no it will not allow me to so down in this area right here if you follow this positive connection all the way down and then right there where it's soldered right in here where it's soldered right above this is um, some kind of power capacitor um, if anybody has ever seen a power capacitor blow uh, they do vent quite wildly and uh, do shoot um, flames um, now I don't know if you can make that out but that power capacitor right there is completely white and crispy completely white and crispy and it actually vented so hot that it actually melted the casing on the uh, positive wire connection now I want to just make this aware to anybody who is who is thinking about buying these one of these uh, mini DNA 35s from H cigar please be very careful with this device this device is set up for failure especially right here and right here also you can see on the back of the cap uh, of the back of the box that uh, actually this part of this case actually um, sticks out or is wider than these posts right here and now you can see right here on this post that these two um, I'm not too sure exactly what they are but uh, these two, um, I'm, I don't know, maybe they're resistors or something. I'm not too familiar with uh, electronics on boards. But um, the edge of this right here, just on this side right here, uh, you can see that they've tried to flatten um, this circle here. They've tried to flatten it where it sits. Um, the flat side will sit right here on this post and I guess what that is to prevent is to prevent this from making contact with these two things right here and um, I do believe that this had actually made contact with these two um, items here or the fact that um, the fire button itself had actually made contact with the uh, 510 connection here um, as well and I did not break the bond of hot glue between these two um, between the switch and the 510 connection this is the way it was when I opened this device um, I don't know if it had received extreme temperatures while it was shipping but I mean this is a very very bad setup I mean with the heat that's going to be dispersed up here and through this 510 connection you do not want your 510 connection only being held on with hot glue um, I do not understand the thought process behind that but this is a very bad design even this board is in crooked it's leaning towards this post here um, almost wanting to make contact with it you know it's understandable that these wires are going to be um, you know jammed into this device I mean which device doesn't have wires just jammed into it but I mean each cigar come on I mean are you seriously not even considering um, your customer's safety like um, I, I, I'm really salty about this right now and I have extreme sour grapes about this right now and I'm sick of this this is what's going to hurt the market this is what's going to give e-cigarettes a bad name is shitty craftsmanship like this pardon my French but I am mad about this so much I mean if 
the connection or the short that happened in this was so bad that um, the battery would have vented and started a fire, I wouldn't have really known it. And the short even the short happened when I wasn't even expecting it. I heard a, a frazzle and then all of a sudden I've got smoke coming out of the uh, micro USB. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So I cracked it open right away and uh, I, I pulled the battery right away and uh, I, I chucked the battery in a safe place where if it were to vent it would have room to vent and uh, be outside. So uh, this one really scared the crap out of me guys. Um, just be aware, um, please do not, um, you know I'm not going to suggest you don't buy this device but I do have a feeling that this device here is going to give um, vaping a very bad name. Uh, please be careful with this device. Please, 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 if you decide to purchase one of these. Um, I do believe that the retail value on something like this is going to be um, probably competitive with the, uh, uh, well, in the same price range as the IPv2. Um, I don't know what more I can say about this device other than, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to buy this. You know, there might be some owners out there of this device that uh, are completely satisfied with this, but uh, this zone here is uh, completely dangerous. I mean, come on, H Cigar, give your head a shake. I mean, even, you know, that's not even glued in right now. Now I'm in the process of either getting a refund for these. I bought them a third party from China. Um, they they deal with uh, H Cigar. Um, I did not deal with H Cigar on this one. I actually had contacted their support staff about this, and uh, they they do not care that one of their devices uh, caught fire. Um, they don't even care. So I mean. Uh, H Cigar, if H Cigar were to ask me to do a review for one of their products, I will not be doing a review for one of their products. I will not represent that company whatsoever, um, especially after seeing this. I don't know, you guys make up your mind on, on the craftsmanship of this. I mean, uh, this is this is crap. I mean, look at that. That's making direct contact now with that 510. Like way to hurt somebody wait this is a lawsuit waiting to happen excuse excuse my my rant <laughs> i have to vent about this this is uh extremely dangerous okay guys let's go back to facetime you have it there is my partial review of the uh dna 35 uh mini box mod from h cigar um I really do believe that this product is going to um, hurt people, um, it's going to burn people, uh, it's going to catch somebody's house, car, it's going to catch something on fire, um, or it's going to severely, severely burn people. I need, if, if you guys can share this video as much as you can to raise awareness against this product. Um, you know, I really, really, really don't want to do a bad review. Um, you know, I try to take uh, indoor smokers' um, advice on uh, on giving bad reviews because someone may have this product and really enjoy it, and it may be working really well for them, and then somebody comes along and says it sucks. Um, I think this case is different especially with the build quality on this this device is seriously going to hurt somebody and uh, I think we really need to make people aware of this device because um, to tell you the truth we're on the fence right now as far as um, vaping goes um, uh, uh, you know as far as um, whether it's going to be accepted or not and if we start having products that are seriously hurting somebody or or burning a house down or you know worst case scenario kill somebody um, that's really just going to 
tip us over the fence backwards and we'll be back to square one and I can't believe that H Cigar would even release a product like this um, I'm very disappointed um, as far as I knew H Cigar is a very good brand but um, what I've been told is that they have kind of gone downhill lately and uh, I don't know why I don't care don't put out products like this okay guys share this video share the crap out of this video make everybody aware and um, yes thank you thank you for subscribing and thank you you know ahead of time for sharing this video um, I've tried to contact um, you know the big uh, the big three names in in vaping reviews and uh, we'll see if those guys get back to me but uh, I really do want to uh, raise awareness uh, about this product. Okay, guys. Thanks.